how my connection weak. My connection is not weak. What's up, family? What's up, family? Gather round, gather round. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Who that, brother Shaka? What's going on, brother Shaka? What's going on? We'll start the show sometime. Soon, I'm thinking maybe August. I'm really enjoying enjoying this little bit of time off, <laughs> you know. Plus doing these daily um, 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 broadcasts. I'm still out of Ambrosia. We still brewing, so we're gonna have to go on and create us another healthy drink. Um, but first, we're gonna go and drink this water. Tell Pharaoh I'll say good morning. I mean, hopefully he's still asleep. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless he's just an early, early, early riser. But tell him i say good morning. Um, so, let's go and get started. So, this morning, we got 1907 New Zealand water. Artes artesian water. And I found out what artesian was. I thought it was about an artist. But it's a... It's a there's a certain way that the rock is cut so that the water, you don't have to dig for the water. The water just kind of rises up naturally. So there's a, a natural spring water. Shouts out to Brother Calvin D. Kwame. What's up, Kwame? Welcome, my friend. Sorry for the lateness, man. I um, I had to put some stuff um, together. Uh, I think today I'm going to talk about the warrior mindset on... Um, on the YouTube lesson today, um, being a being a nation building on 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 a, on a warrior path, being an elder on a warrior path, because we need to we need to kind of hone in this this warrior mind state, because um, uh, uh, a warrior mind state is about um, defending um, what we have. You know what I'm saying? The realness. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, because one of the, one of the, the basic laws is uh, being able to tell the real from the unreal, right? And being able to defend what we really do have and take care of what we really do have rather than running around trying to defend fucking illusions all the time. You know what I'm saying? So being able to, to distinguish the real from the unreal and being able to be at that in that warrior mind state to defend what we do have and stand up for what we really do have. And, and I mean, as, as a people, we have a lot. Now, it don't translate, it don't translate into what this society sees as well. But we need to start, we need to start using how we see the world to our advantage, man. I was um, reading um, some folk tales in my studies, and one of the things that I came across was um, a statement by uh, ethnograph, I guess they call him an ethnographic or something like that. Somebody who study culture and especially through folklore. Um, and one of the things that made African culture distinctive was that African and African culture and African storytelling. You know what I'm saying? We didn't argue to come to a conclusion. I need y'all to listen to this. <laughs> Because you run into this all the time. But we just didn't know this is us. We didn't argue to get to a conclusion. We argue to argue. Because it generates conversation. You understand what I'm saying? So, for example, I would tell a story. And Kwame would hear my story. And Kwame would be like, but hey, hold on. Kwame would turn around and tell the same story, but then had his twist. And then Shock would turn around and hear the story. And then Shock would turn around and tell his story and his twist. Then we would argue about whose story was better and why it was better. And we would argue until other people got involved. And eventually an elder would come and bring order. And then out of all of the discussion that went on, the elder will bring a solution. 
the elder will bring a prime lesson. That's a total different mind state than get from A to B. You know, because the, the, the mind state that we are, we wrestling in go from A to B to C to D. When our mind state goes, well, better yet, it goes like this. Right? It's not a circle exactly. It's more of a spiral rising towards something. Right? And But the other piece that's important there is that we understand the cultural piece. Because the elder, the elder is the one that brings order to the whole situation. Um, Shaka states, I remember waking up from a very disturbing but true reality. I think... Uh oh, I think we may have even talked about it too. I remember this thought, black folk in America are always dying over something we wish. Uh oh, hold on Shaka, I'm trying to expand with you. Man, come on. Uh, I'm trying to get it to work, man. Uh, good morning, um, um, Gary. What's going on? I can't get the rest of your statement. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's get this let's get this toast on. Let me invite Gary. I don't know what's going. On. Can somebody explain that to me? I don't. I mean, if you're already on the screen, why do I have to invite you? Black folks are always dying over something we wish to possess, not for what we have. Word. All right, so here we go. So we got this 1907 artesian water, water all the way from New Zealand. Why 1907? It's, it shouts out to the pioneers who in 1907 started bottling water in a town of Parent, New Zealand, or oh, whatever. All right, but I like I like this water, so let's go drink some water. Drink it up, drink it up. All my fault. Bring it out, bring it out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. All right, come on, drink up with me. Drink up with me, family. Come on. We gotta drink up that health, man. Come on, family. We not healthy, our ancestors not healthy. You know what I'm saying? We all connected. We all connected. We gotta go and get about this whole system thinking, right? <clears throat> I mean, well, I, not system thinking, but thinking that the systems don't work together, right? Interdependence, number one, interdependence. We all depend on each other, right? So we all work together. So we got to get away from this whole separate piece, right? What we think is just separate pieces, but it's all one big machine. You know what I'm saying? So if we are sick, that means our ancestors are sick. If we are weak, that means our ancestors are weak. So now, in order for us to make sure that our ancestors are where they need to be, we need to be where we supposed to be. That means in prime health, right? Drink up that water. Mm. My fault, because y'all got to see as I start building back up, because I done tore it down. I done tore the temple down, now I'm rebuilding it. So I'm letting everybody see, so y'all can, so can watch, so y'all can watch the arms come back, and y'all can watch the chest come back, right? I'm not fucking around with this. We straight nation building. Now we nation building. We people building. We culture building, right? I want y'all to understand, man. This is real, right? Because, like, listen, that this 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 whole life care piece, this whole self mastery piece, this whole warriorship piece, it's real, and it's and it only takes us to dedicate 
it only takes us to dedicate a little bit of our time, two hours a day, personally develop, personally developing you. All right, come on. Let's drink one more. One more. Come on. Get your water. Get your water on. Get your water on. Now that I share the flow on this great cool Chagalia day. Mm. Oh hell with that. Look, we only got a little bit left. Come on, finish the bottle. Come on, let's go. This is Oh, 33 point, all right, cool, cool, we right on time, you know, I like to start my day off like that, right? So, we know the rules, right? We start off with water, now we got to go on and get us a help drink. Now, I will usually break out the ambrosia at this time, but the ambrosia is brewing. So, now I have to use a uh, lesser method. So, I got me some fruit, y'all see I got a piece of... Uh, Abandoned mango left by my family, some ginger, some blueberries, some frozen kiwi, some strawberries, some bananas down there, right? And we are going to mix that up into a drink. Mm. And some green tea. Let's see if it's fermenting. Got honey in it already. Yep, a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that means that the ambrosia is almost done, family. So we will be doing the ambrosia. Uh, I will be immediately working on Brother Kwame's. He want black seed and ginseng. I'm going to be experimenting with uh, the root beer this time. We're going to be big on grape because uh, Miss Vern Love, she wants the grape. And she's a major supporter, so I'll make sure she gets what she needs. Um, but if there's any other orders out there, y'all need to let me know. Of course, Lemon Lime. Oh, my God. Lemon Lime came through for me on that. Uh, at the end of that fast, like you wouldn't even believe. Come on, drink up the water. A lot of that, I'll share the flow. I'll share, I'll share, I'll share. So you don't got that ambrosia. And you talking about, well, what's a healthy drink, Brother Hot Tim? A healthy drink is a drink that makes you feel good, that stimulates your body, that moves your mind, that uplifts your spirit. Oh, I got apple too. Right? That get the eye shade flowing. Right? So I'm just going to stuff this fruit down here. Because y'all know I would usually have that ambrosia. But you know, hey, sometimes even, 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 even the supply, even the supply falls short. Right? So, and it's kind of good because it gets, gives me opportunity to show y'all other stuff that we can do. Right? But we want to make sure we drink and we're doing something healthy to start the day off. Because a lot of us... You know what I'm saying? We are in toxic environments, so we're in toxic situations. So it's always good for us to take a little bit of time for ourselves, right? So now, what I got is a a, a single cup mixer, which is, man, this is one of the best things ever. You know what I'm saying? Best things ever. So I got that up in there. I might need to put a little bit more liquid up in there. Yeah, let's put a little bit more liquid up in there. All right. Uh, somebody explain to me this 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 um a boiled cinnamon stick, star anise, clove, ginger, and cardamom. Sometimes honey, but when I bottle it, the bottle suck in and hisses when I open it. What do I have to add to the process? Well, actually, um. You might want to look into getting a glass jar, you know what I'm saying? Because the plastic, plastic is naturally going to give, right? Because what it sounds like is you got, if you got anything in there sweet, there's going to be some fermenting going on, which means that the bottle is going to expand or totally collapse, 
with the air with it trying to escape. So you might want to try experimenting using um, a glass bottle and see if that will change what's going on. Um, the hissing and stuff is all right. That's just it fermenting. You know what I'm saying? Always use your nose when you um when we make it stuff. When we when we when we experiment like that, always use your nose because a lot of times um you know when something's not good when you um when you when it comes to contact with your nose, man. Trust your nose. All right? Uh what do I have to do to add to the process like you do? All right, so you got boiled cinnamon stick, star anise, clove, ginger, and cardamom, sometimes honey, but when I bottle it, the bottle sucks in and hisses when I open it. What do I have to do to add to the process like you do? Nothing, bro. You're already on it. You're already on it, right? Just keep experimenting, right? But I would suggest using, because if the bottle is sucking in, that means you, if it's glass, I don't, you know, you got some super shit, right? I don't know what's going on, but if it's sucking in and stuff, that's not glass. Experiment with the glass, experiment with letting it sit a little bit longer, releasing the glass uh, periodically, and see what you come out with. Because you, we got to become scientists again, man. We got to become scientists again. fast because uh on my show I'm on we're gonna eat we're gonna start off our day with some uh with some fermented food right and uh we're gonna toast these ancestors man I wanted y'all to just see so now remember man the kitchen was the first laboratory. The kitchen is the laboratory. So we need to become scientists again, man. We need to get up in them kit in that kitchen, start learning and using these herbs, man, because all these little issues that we have and all these aches and pains that some of our elders are having, man, we got the cures for them right in our house. Right? So let's look at that beautiful. Look 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 at that. Look at that. Right? The only thing that could make that better is some damn Ooh, I got one bottle. Ooh, I saved it for tomorrow. I got a bottle of ginseng and brochure. I'm ooh. All right, cool. All right. Call on the creator by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We call that great power into our lives. We call that great power into our hearts. We call that great power into our friends and family. We ask the creator to bless and guide each and every last one of us. Order in our steps in a way that will bring us into harmony with the divine plan. So we lift up our glasses and we say our shame. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We remember our grandmothers and our grandfathers, and we ask them to walk with us. We ask them to bless us. We ask them to guide us. We ask them to strengthen us. We ask them to surround us. We ask them to protect us. We ask them to work with us through our struggles so that we can gain the wisdom that we need to move to the next level, family. All right? We call on our personal ancestors, and we remember those who took time to remember us when we couldn't remember ourselves, who took time to name us when we couldn't name ourselves, who took time to call us into reality and allow us to build upon their shoulders. We lift them up. I start with my family line. If anybody got anybody that they want me to shout out, by all means, post them up, all right? 
We call on Miles Brown, Miss Ann Robert and Texas, and the Davis Homer Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, and William Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, uh, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Wash Ellis, Margaret Ellis, Herman Brown the second, Alvaro Brown, Jeannie Gaines, Barbara Twiggs, Cecil Ellis, um, Cecil Ellis, John Flard, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, Montague Pittman L, Dr. Marianne Williams, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, No More X, Pet Ma Ra, um, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie. Um, we got Harvey Hasbury Sr., Theolis Hasbury, Aunt Evelyn, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Diane, Jamon Jones, T.C. Islam. Um, any others? Any others? We lift them up, we lift them up, and we say, I say, from there, we move to this moment. We got Terrell Dunbar, Terrell Dunbar, yes. Toast Terrell Dunbar. Um, Mark Walsh. Um, uh, somebody else been knocking on my door. Um, it'll come back to me. All right, so we lift up the glass. We say our shade. Um, right now we toast this.